back to my channel success engineering official so today in this uh, tutorials i am going to teach you how to calculate uh, toilet ventilation system so this is very easy to calculate i have made here uh, one excel sheet just to calculate the toilet ventilation system okay so simply enter the values here and uh, you will get the answer okay so you will get the required airflow so how to start this how to i will uh, show you with uh, one actual drawing so this is uh, one of the drawing design drawing so from this drawing there is a toilet here a male and a female so in this toilet uh, there are two w's into shower and male evolution female evolution so for this uh, toilet area we are going to calculate uh, ventilation required ventilation system so it's very easy to calculate so before i start uh, this uh, video i would like to request you all guys please do subscribing my channel if you are still not subscribe it's uh, very easy to subscribe and it's free of cost so please do subscribing and hit the bell icon as well so that uh, whenever i upload the video you will directly get the notification of my video so also please uh, like and share my video so let us uh, start now <coughs> first let me open this excel sheet and this is uh, serial number so let me enter here serial number okay it's very easy good to calculate and this is the building so building name is uh, laboratory building so lab building lab building so this will be overall up to here all our lab building okay and floor is uh, nothing but ground floor gf simply enter here gf okay and a space so a space is nothing but uh, male evolution and male wc male shower so simply enter here male evolution male uh, male wc male shower male shower okay then female evolution <coughs> female evolution female wc female shower okay so just enter this value this uh, is user input so just enter this okay so let me highlight this whatever i shaded here is a uh, is user input okay and this white is uh, nothing but this is uh, let me delist value okay and this white is uh, already entered with uh, this here formulas apply with formula so no need to delete this okay just enter your length and width so male evolution from this drawing you can found the length and width so length is 1.9 and width is you can see here 0.9.9 so 1.8 so length is 1.9 meter okay and width is 1.8 meter okay 1.9 1.9 by 1.8 so area is automatic calculated by this uh, excel because I, I have applied here formulas just i multiply here in excel okay and height so simply enter the height here so from where you get the height there is one section drawing you can see here this is a section drawing okay so the uh, the ceiling height is you can see here this is the ceiling so ceiling height is from this uh, grid floor to ceiling is 3 meter okay so simply enter here 3 okay then uh, i can get the volume here area into height is nothing but the volume in cubic meter okay and ach air changes per hour is taken 6 to 
six to ten in Middle East. So I'm going to consider here six year changes per hour. So simply enter here six. Then I will get it here flow rate that is nothing but cubic meter per hour that is air changes per hour into volume. If you multiply these two, you will get it here cubic meter per hour. Okay. And quantity of toilet is uh, one. So if you enter this quantity, you will get here total flow rate. That is nothing but the quantity into flow rate. So quantity is one. If there are two toilets, simply enter here two, and you will get it here. Okay, the total flow rate in cubic meter. So if you let me enter one, and this uh, total flow rate in liter per second. So one cubic meter is equal to 0.28 liter per second. Okay, so I simply multiply here uh, this uh, total flow rate into 0.28 okay so next is uh, male wc so check the male wc the 1.8 the length and the width is 0.9 so simply enter here 1.8 length 1.8 meter and width is 0.9 meter okay and height is same 3 meter the air changes per hour is nothing but the 6 as per ASR and uh, in the Middle East, we are assuming here uh, 6 to 10 uh, air changes per hour. Okay, and quantity is 1. So I'm getting here uh, 29 uh, cubic meter per hour. Okay, and the in liter per second, it is 8 liter per second. Similarly, enter the size of this uh, male shower. So I think it's same. So it's same 1.8 by 0 0.9 so 0 1.8 meter 0 0.9 meter 0 0.9 meter and height is 3 and air changes per hour is 6 and quantity is 1 so it is uh, automatic calculated and here is the total uh, summation of all this total air flow so it's uh, very easy and for the female toilet, uh, female evolution. So female evolution is same. Both uh, toilets are uh, symmetrical. Symmetrical. So the dimension uh, of both uh, is same. So 1.9. Sorry, 1.9 by 1.8 and 3 meter height and six air changes. Sorry, here is six. Okay, and quantity is one. So I'm getting here 17. Again, uh, this female WC. So female WC is nothing but the 1.8. The same. Is, it is the similar length, and uh, width is also same. Okay, 0.9.9. So 1.8 by 0 0.9. 1.8. 0.9. Three meter height. Six air changes quantity is one similarly for this one this is this will be same also three meter height and six air changes per hour quantity is one okay after entering all these value i am getting here summation of all these air flows i am getting here 240 cubic meter per hour okay and here is safety factor i am taking 15 percent that means 36 safety factor and if you multiply these two sorry uh, add these two total air flow rate plus uh, safety factor you will get it here 276 cubic meter per hour okay if you convert this uh, all these you will get it here uh, 77 okay in liter per second so summation of these all air flow in liter per second is 67 and safety factor is 10 so I am getting 77 liter per second okay if you convert this uh, simply multiply and check it here is equal to this into 0 0.28 you will get it here 77 okay because 1 cubic meter per hour is equal to 0 0.28 liter per second 
and fresh air flow is nothing but the 90% of uh, exhaust air so because uh, negative pressure is required so you can multiply here simply is equal to 276 into 0 0.9 you will get it here 240 again here 77 into 0 0.9 so 69 fresh air okay so now you can select the fan the total uh, exhaust air flow is uh, 77 liter per second and fresh air flow is 69 liter per second so, so our fan uh, air flow is 77 liter per second and 69 is the fresh air requirement so these uh, two values if you give to supplier they will uh, select the fan and some ex uh, external static pressure is also required so that will be calculated during design of duct because we have to put here one uh, fan and we will design the duct uh, duct in this toilet so we'll put it here box type fan or axial inline fan okay and we will connect with uh, duct okay and then we will uh, design the duct here <coughs> so i hope you guys uh, learn how to how to calculate this uh, ventilation system toilet ventilation uh, system for uh, toilet wc and shower so i hope you guys learn something from this video if you learn something from this video so please uh, once again i would like to request you, you guys please do subscribing my channel and hit the bell icon as well so that whenever i upload the video you will directly get the notification of my video and also please like and share my video so thank you for watching my video thank you thank you bye bye